What's up, y'all? This is Angela. Come back at y'all again. Y'all, I'm floored at this right here. Check this shit out. Okay. This is like hitting home for me. This is like about what this incident happened. It's about 30 minutes, 30, 20 or 30 minutes from where I live in Gaston, Alabama. So this grandmother and his stepmother are being charged with killing the granddaughter slash daughter. Y'all. I'm going to put the link below so y'all can watch the, read it for yourself. Okay. This, I don't even know where to start. Okay. This is from, at, at, this this article was published February 22nd. So, uh, it is just really coming out today. Well, today is February 22nd, but it was printed up in our papers today. Okay. It was saying, okay, this nine-year-old girl. Lied to her grandmother about um, eating some candy. Go figure. Okay? Eating some candy bars. She told a lot to her grandmother about eating candy bars. So, I guess her grandmother and her stepmother were pissed about the little girl lying. Now, mind you, this is a nine-year-old girl. Okay? Nine. This is a baby. Okay, so as punishment for lying to her grandparents, her grandmother and her mother... Her stepmother at that. This bitch stepmom ain't this bitch ain't even the little girl mama. Go, you know. So they sent it, they told the little girl as punishment to run around the yard or up the street for three hours. Mind you, this is a nine-year-old child. And all she did was lie about eating candy. Okay, put in punishment in her room. Take away the TV. Take away the snacks. No sweet stuff for a week. No TV for a week. No telephone for a week. No go outside. Some common damn punishments. Ain't no way I'm gonna make my fucking child run up and down the street for three hours for lying about eating some fucking candy. Feel me? So, the girl's stepmom, though, she's 27. She called the police and it said at 6.45 telling them that the little girl was having a seizure and was unresponsive. So, neighbors said he saw the little girl running around about 4 o'clock, but he didn't see anybody chasing her or anything. So, authorities, the police, they still trying to determine whether the little girl was forced to run or by physical coercion or verbal commands. So, police were told that the girl was forced to run after lying to her mother. That's what the neighbors, you know, were saying or whatever. So, the 46-year-old grandmother, um, the 46-year-old grandmother, and, you know, told her to run. This is ridiculous. Okay, the little girl died, sadly, she died Monday, well, yeah, yesterday, what, Monday, Monday, at Children's Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama, according to the news release that the sheriff's office, you know, put out. So, the sheriff's office paper says that the autopsy report showed the girl was extremely dehydrated and had a very low sodium level, and the state pathologist, not the police, they ruled it as a homicide. Okay, uh, strangely enough, this is a, believe me, this is a nine-year-old child. If she run, if you run for three hours straight, you're gonna be dehydrated as well. You get what I'm saying? You're gonna be dehydrated. You ain't gonna have no salt in your body. You know, this is crazy. These motherfuckers are sick. I hope they get the fucking death penalty. Do you fucking hear me out? Um the the police, the sheriff's office, they received calls from citizens, you know, after they read this on Monday saying that um they saw the, the little girl running. So, um, one of the neighbors and her husband, they live just up the road. They said they know the family since they moved in to the area seven years ago. Um, the other fam the neighbors said they was used to seeing the little girl and other children riding on the school bus or whatever in the mornings. Um, the fa the, her father and the stepmother was the, the house that they lived in. It, it was surrounded by wood and fence, playground, you know, all that bougie shit. But the neighbors said they never saw the children playing in the yard. So were they, you know, what the fuck? They holding the children hostage in the house? Was this like a boot camp or some shit? You know what I'm saying? Why would you fucking make a nine-year-old child run around the yard for three hours with nothing to drink, not stopping? What? Why would you even punish a child like that? This is a child. And lying about eating some fucking candy? It's not even that serious. But, oh, y'all. But the grandmother and the stepmother, they're being held in the Etowah County Detention Center. They're each on a $500,000 cash bond. Uh, according to the, you know, the courts or whatever that the little girl daddy filed, from divorce, filed for a divorce from the stepmother in August of 2010. So, and he's, he's told it 
it's irres oh, you know, irresolvable differences. I can't say the word right now. He said that his wife was bipolar and had alcoholic tendencies. Um, and he accused of, of running off with the couples on, with their own child. So, okay, is this father, as a father, you know this bitch bipolar, and you know this bitch alcoholic, and you know what I'm saying, you know this bitch is retarded. Why would you fucking leave your child around her? If you divorce her, I want custody of my children. I don't, this bitch is an alcoholic, she can do anything to your child, she can beat your child, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying, and then she bipolar? What the fuck? What kind of shit is this? I would ne- oh, no. But, bye. Don't come back. But anyway, that was my child. Every five minutes, she keep bringing these in. Have bowls. Go your ass to bed, girl. It's 9.16 at night. You got school in the morning. But <clears throat> five months um, after the divorce, them, they, of course, they asked the judge to dismiss their case, so they remained married. Uh, the little girl was a third grader at Carlisle Elementary School. And, you know, they said the, the school turned to her desk into a little memorial where her classmates could leave notes and, you know, mementos or whatever. You know, I was, ooh, honey, this is crazy. Like, who would, I just want this, this, this little baby can rest in peace. You know, she's surrounded by God and all his love and shit. You know, excuse my cousin, but this shit is pissing me off. These two, honey, they need to die in prison, right in fucking hell, because this is a baby now. All of, all of, all of just lying about ca candy, of a candy bar? You feel what I'm saying? These trailer trash ass white holes, honey, this shit here is off the, just, woo Now... I mean, I hope they get, I don't wish death upon anyone, but I really hope that they give them the death penalty because this is crazy. Like, how could you, you know, do that to a child? You know what I'm saying? How could you do this? Just a grandmother at that. Most grandmother loves to give their children candy, you know? I mean, who, honey, made the little girl run? You know what I'm saying? Run. Owe some candy. It's crazy. This is crazy. I don't understand, y'all. Y'all, please, just tell me how y'all fucking feel about this shit here because this shit is it's very uneasy. I would never do that to my children, let alone somebody else's children. Why would you make a nine-year-old? And then you know this, this baby has a history of having fucking seizures, so you gonna make her run three hours straight with no water, not stopping, or nothing? What kind of human being are you? You know, I, these these two motherfuckers, they get everything that they get. And I'm going to hold the daddy responsible for too because where the fuck were you at when they were disciplining this child like this? Were you just sitting back scared because this bipolar ass motherfucker was going to do something to you? You know what I'm saying? I'm just confused. Was this little child that bad because, you know, to punish her like that? Whoop her ass. Send her to her room or some shit. I mean, you know, take away her TV. Take away her outside playing privileges. Take away our snacks for the week or something, you know, then teach her, tell her that lying is not, you know, that's not what to do. You know, you tell the truth, don't lie. What the fuck you gonna make? Y'all, I hope they probably get their asses whooped in jail. I can tell you that because this sad. This shit, I'm, I'm in Alabama. So this is like 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from my house. So when I read this on the, in the, you know, the little news stuff three minutes ago, I was like, what the fuck? I got to let my YT family know about this bullshit because, honey, if y'all feel like how I feel about y'all choosing if a step parent, I don't need like my children's stepmother and father to even discipline them. But you know, handle your business if they doing something wrong. You got my permission to, you know, put them in line or whatever. But doing shit like that, oh no. Hmm. I mean, where's her her biological mother? You get what I'm saying? 
what where was she? Is she deceased? Because they never said that she died or you know, whatever. But they just said the stepmother and the grandmother made disciplined the child and made her run for three hours straight. If I was there, I would have made them bitches run with run for three hours. This shit just don't make no sense, y'all. It what is this world coming to that they doing this to to children? It really don't make no sense, but this happened close to home to me, and I just had to come share with y'all. I'm going to put this uh, news article, the link, um, below so you can go read it for yourself and tell me what you think um, of it. I'm trying to find it. There it is. This was posted by Fox 6 News here in our area or whatever, but I'm going to uh, put this link right here and um, so y'all can read it. So, I just hope y'all can fathom y'all minds around this whole little incident. This is a child. And this child has lost her life because of this. So, my prayers go out to this family, this child's mother, this child's father. And I hope those two women get what they deserve because no child, no matter what they do, deserves to be treated cruel like that. But I'm gone, y'all. I done said what I had to say. Y'all leave y'all comments below. Let me know what the fuck y'all think about this and what y'all think should happen to these two motherfuckers. I personally think they actually get the death penalty because this baby lost her life. This baby never played sports. This baby never get married. This baby never experienced life. This baby will, will never get to do any of the things that we grown people have done. She will never get to experience her first kiss, her first dance, her high school, like, chilling, you know, prom, all that. They took away this baby whole life over a fucking 89 cent candy bar that she lied about eating. Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm gone because I just don't understand this and understand the people of, of this world. This is crazy, y'all, but I'm up out of here. Peace and love.